Hello. Recently, I've been feeling meh, you know? Like, every day, I have this list of things I need to do, and I just flop. I have all these video ideas, and they're all, like, I just can't get them to look good. And I have been trying to wake up earlier, and instead I'm waking up later every day. And I'm just struggling. And part of that is that I still haven't found the balance not working a full-time job anymore, and, like, how to actually get work done and feel motivated. It's been a little bit of a rough transition. Today, I wanted to do a little bit of, like, a spring reset, maybe some spring cleaning. I just need to like have a fresh brain. The first three months of the year have definitely been interesting and through my life in a curveball. See, I can't even talk. Let's just get into this video by organizing my week and my notion board. <sighs> okay, that's a miracle. That's about how my life is going recently. Just not good. Here's kind of my week planning. I put all of my like to-dos and priorities and most of it has to do with my business, getting a brand name chosen, the website, editing my presentation, getting a notion board set up for brands. Also the DMV called me yesterday after that whole fiasco of the DMV. They called me and said that I was missing my safety inspection. I brought it with me and they looked at it. So that's something else. And then I like, I'm just struggling with time management. I've always kind of struggled with time management. When I had a job, it was like, okay, no one talked to me from you know nine to five and I just get my work done I get my paycheck boom 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 but now that I'm self-employed and I'm trying to balance doing YouTube but also starting a business I'm like how much effort do I put into each one uh when do I work but then I'm like oh I have the freedom to go to the gym at 1 p.m if I want and then like for some reason even when I go to the gym at 1 p.m I'll still stop working at five like no I should probably work longer than that but I'm also balancing like hanging out with family and friends and just everything that's why I need to reset today I'm not complaining that I'm in this position I'm happy to be in this position I'm just my brain doesn't work like this so I'm trying to figure out how I can work with myself to accomplish my goals so the first thing here on my notion board is pretty much my YouTube dashboard and I've been trying to figure out like how often can I realistically post while still having time to work on my business and kind of organizing when I'll film when I'll publish the status so I'm gonna work on organizing this for a second Okay, I'm feeling a little bit more put together YouTube channel wise. I decided to switch from posting Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes Saturdays to Tuesdays and Fridays. And I probably won't ever post three times a week because I'm also trying to post on Fridays on my reading channel. So that's three times over both channels. I feel like that's pretty good considering I'm trying to start a business. I feel enough put together that I am now gonna go on my hot girl walk. And then I also wanna do some like spring cleaning. And I need to make lunch because it's already like 11.30. back from my walk it was like a little 20 minute walk nothing crazy but the uv is like five so maybe i got a little bit of a tan i might want to lay out after i eat lunch and like read a book that would hit but i'm gonna drink a celsius i haven't had any caffeine yet today so i'm gonna get my caffeine going and it is now lunchtime, and I like to do meal prep. I just ran out of my meal prep, so you guys get to meal prep with me. I have two different meal preps. One is a ground beef meal prep, which is basically a spring roll bowl. I'm gonna keep listening to my podcast while I make food, so enjoy watching me. Before I move on to my next thing for my spring clean reset, I need to do some reading for a video on my reading channel, so I'm gonna knock this out. For the video I'm reading, I was supposed to read like 50 pages and I could only get through my one chapter because I just feel all this pressure to get a bunch of stuff done today. I don't know why, probably because I haven't been productive at all this week and I feel like this week has just been a flop, which is why we're filming this video. But it is so nice out today. I do have a blanket because it's a wee bit chilly, but it's 63. 
I love it. So to help me feel a bit more organized, I feel messy when my house is messy. So first we're gonna do like basic cleaning and then I kind of actually want to get into a little bit of like spring cleaning, cleaning out closets. First things first is my kitchen. If my kitchen's a mess, my whole world is a mess. And my fridge needs a little cleaning. Or at least organizing. It doesn't need too much cleaning out. I know that's a lot. But for the most part, just organize. Okay, that wasn't too hard because it was relatively already organized. Just a couple things to throw away that are old. Let's clean this kitchen. guests stay here twice and that was all back to back and then it was like my bible study slash reading room but now i like reading in bed and doing all that just anywhere in the house so i didn't use the room as much as i thought then i got let go from my job so i switched my desks and this is like basically my gaming setup but i have not set any of it up to actually be ready to game so i thought we would kind of do something with this room because it's been stressing me out and this closet needs some help <laughs> I really need like some organizational baskets, but we're not spending money. We're working with what we got. I want to kind of decorate. I have all these old decorations from the living room. So I think I'll just go ahead and hang them on this wall. So there's something in here. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to move that desk into my office next to my other desk. So I can have work and gaming all in there. Or I could separate it so I don't feel like I'm in one room all day. And if I want to play games, I can come in here, which I'm leaning towards. So let's just kind of get to work. I'm going to start by putting up these decorations on the wall. I love when it actually works out perfect. It works. Honestly, I don't care that much. I think it's good enough. I was able to get all of this set up. I haven't turned it on to make sure I connected everything right, but it's pretty much ready for me to be able to play Minecraft and Sims and Fortnite, which I haven't done any of that in so long because it hasn't been set up. So that'll be fun. Um, let's see, what else can I do? As far as decor, I do have this little mirror. I can give myself a little mirror somewhere. I think I'll just hang this up. show you other than needing to actually put that rug under there which i don't know if it'll stay there or not but walk in and now there are so many purposes for this room i've got my gaming stuff i found that and hung it up and then it looks all cute now charging my vacuum in here and even this is pretty organized and then we also have all the cat stuff in here so this is kind of that room in our house where just when we don't know where to put something we kind of throw it in here so now it's a little bit more organized and put together which makes me feel put together and i just need to bring my rolly chair from downstairs up here when i play games or i could just drag the one in there back and forth but uh, we'll see ah so cute now it's actually like looks good to film in here but usually on wednesdays we have family dinner so i'm gonna go head over to my dad's eat there and then i might hit the gym after but after all that i'll come back tonight and talk about some of the things i want to do to kind of spring reset and we'll continue into tomorrow <music> Spring 
cleaning day two. It's actually like rainy and gloomy outside, which means I just want to do nothing, but we must continue onward. We cannot just take a day off for no reason. I can't tell you how good it feels to walk into this room and it's not a complete mess. It has been a mess for months. And speaking of being a mess for months, we are going to be working on my guest bathroom today. I personally love how the guest bathroom ended up as like an orange theme and then you go into the guest room and it's also like an orange theme. Okay, I thought you'd be able to see, but that little hallway is in the way. But there are just a few things in here that I've been needing to do for a long, long time. First is putting up these shelves that I bought to go above the toilet. So I can actually like put the toilet paper and other stuff in here for guests. And then replacing this. Yesterday, I also added on the hardware to this. It has not had hardware, so I haven't been able to use these drawers pretty much this whole time. But I have to tell you this story about these items. So, <laughs> after a long journey and lots of researching, like a month of research, I realized you can't just replace these, but I hate how old and ugly this is. I got a new shower head and it's kind of a different silver color, but you have to find something that matches your plumbing. And I apparently have really old plumbing and it's really hard to find. Like this took a month to come in once I ordered it. Hopefully I still remember how to do it. I did the one downstairs right away. Obviously we replaced the one in our master bedroom, but I haven't redone this. So here's the before and it's very silver. And then this is like a different kind of silver. It's like brushed nickel, I think, which is what this is. And then this is like more modern. And then I'll show you the handle. This will be the new knob, which is a huge upgrade from this like old grandma looking one. I wanted to do gold for it all to match, but I can't even tell you how hard it was to find any color. So I could only find brushed nickel that matches my plumbing. So we're going with it. <laughs> this bathroom is kind of a mess because the shower has silver in it, gold light, Gold mirror, gold hardware everywhere. This is gold and the doorknob is gold. But the door is black and because we are in a rush, our cabinets are actually a really dark brown. So we have silver, gold, brown, and black and you know, traditionally brown and black don't go together and silver and gold don't go together. So this is a mod podge of a bathroom. But that's what happens when you try to remodel really fast. But I think it's still super cute. Okay, now, now it is time to cosplay being a plumber. I don't know if I remember how to do this. Well, first, I am gonna need a screwdriver. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to avoid. I couldn't find the exact tool I was looking for, but this should work. Okay, let's see if it works. I'm just accepting that this week is not it for me and that I'm just gonna start fresh next Monday, which is gonna be part of this video at the end. I'm gonna like plan how I'm gonna run my life basically. The time changes on Sunday, so the sun's gonna go down later. That is the best news I could have possibly heard. But I didn't realize today's Thursday, <laughs> which means I'm supposed to already have read a chapter of this to talk to my friend about it. And this is something I wanna prioritize in my life and I need to do it. Speaking of, I've only read my Bible like once this week, which is probably the exact reason that I'm feeling like a mess. So I really need to start prioritizing that. I think the solution to everything is just gonna be waking up earlier because why am I sleeping in? For what? my chapter and then I was texting my friend and she said she actually can't call till tomorrow and then I fell asleep. I don't know why I'm so tired. Anyway, let's get back to the spring vibes. As I've already mentioned, I've been putting up, I've been putting off hanging up these shelves for so long because I think it's gonna take so long, probably because it will. There's no such thing as, oh yeah, I'll just hang that up. Like it's always a thing. It's always like a whole event. So I'm throwing on a podcast. Let's get this done. I just want to do the one shelf because I can't get it centered because of where the studs are so it's already misaligned this bathroom already has a lot going on I feel like I'm fine with the one 
and then I can add to it later if I want to. But now there's a spot for like the toilet paper. So now that all the things I've been putting off in my house are done, which there's always something to do, but for the most part, I wanna get my mind in order. So I feel a lot better physically. I realize that my biggest problem is pretty much sleeping in. Staying up late, sleeping in, for no reason like why am i doing that i'm most productive in the morning and as much as i don't want to be a morning person the second that sun goes down i'm done for the day it is 6 30 right now and i'm done for the day i am forcing myself to work right now <laughs> in order to successfully run this channel and my business I need to wake up earlier and I want to enjoy still doing fun things. So it's just the best order of business essentially. So I want to make a plan that's like my normal day-to-day -day routine. What time am I waking up? When am I going to the gym? All of those kind of things. So I'm going to sit here and think about this for a minute. I think I have it figured out. My normal go-to plan is gonna be to wake up at eight, which is so unbelievably doable. I've been waking up at like nine or 10 and I can even slowly work on getting that earlier. I think my dream idea would be to be waking up at 7 a.m. every day. So right now, wake up at 8 a.m., go on a walk when I first wake up, go to the gym by nine o'clock, which means I'll be home and like ready for the day by 10 a.m. Recently, I've been waking up at 10 a.m. So that will already help me feel so much more motivated. Then I can work from 10 to 12 make lunch at 12 because that's when my husband's lunch is and then I can work after work until my work is done and when I say work because I know like a lot of youtubers say that what that means for me is potentially YouTube stuff which would be like organizing notion board actually editing videos doing content research uh, making thumbnails all of that kind of stuff but then also since I'm trying to start my business that's gonna be making my website doing research on things I can do trying to cl call clients go meet clients present my thing to them and then eventually that'll be literally working on the stuff for them so that's that and my goal is to implement this by monday because tomorrow i already made plans to get coffee at 9 30 with my brother we're going to be doing some brainstorming and stuff and then go to the gym together so that'll be good anyway and then i kind of listed out some videos that i want to film next week so this makes me feel a lot more put together i don't know what happened to me this week i just like flopped in every area of my life it felt like honestly i think what threw me off is i tried to do two really hard videos this week which i ended up flopping both of them literally by wednesday so i will attempt those another time so stay tuned to see what they actually were but i should not do them at the same time one of them was like a reading challenge and one of them was like a life challenge and trying to do them in the same week was the stupidest thing i've ever tried to do so note to self not to overload myself by doing stuff like that side note because it's spring i am just hearing birds constantly outside and it makes me so happy anyway i feel very relaxed now because I just reorganized my notion board, rechose video ideas that flow better together to be able to film in a week, decided what I'm gonna do next week and this weekend I feel so much better. So that's kind of all my spring reset vibe stuff. Now let's just relax and read and make dinner and have a chill evening. Mm -hmm. 